Welcome to the History Law Channel. You join me here today and I'm sat in Bunhill Fields, which is just north of the City of London. And uh, it was a burial ground. It was consecrated in 1665 and uh, until 1854, I think the last burial was, about about 120 to 123,000 people were buried in this particular graveyard. It was actually established for non-conformists and today we're going to be looking at just three of those 120 or so thousand graves. Let's go and see them, shall we? Welcome to London. So the first we're going to look at is this one. It's to John Bunyan. Everyone knows John Bunyan as the author of Pilgrim's Progress. He was born in 1628 near Bedford and at the age of 16 he joined the Parliamentary Army and fought against King Charles I. But at the restoration of the monarchy in 1660 uh, he was arrested for sedition. He was also a preacher and uh, because he was a non-conformist he didn't conform to the Church of England so he was actually arrested and imprisoned for a while. But as I say he's buried here. He died in his 60th year in August of 1688 and this particular memorial was actually uh, rededicated in 1862 and it was the Earl of Shaftesbury who actually had it uh, renovated and uh, the actual sarcophagus was put in the middle and the statue raised up. But there is John Bunyan. Now he's not far from two other literary greats and they're just over there. So let's go and have a look at those two. So here we are, our second of our literary greats we're looking at today and this is Daniel Defoe. Now he was born in London around about 1660. We don't know the exact date but we know he died and he was about 70 years old when he died on the 24th of April in 1731. Now Daniel Defoe is most famous these days for writing Robinson Crusoe but he was also a pioneer of business journalism, he was a pamphleteer and uh, sadly most of his life he was also a debtor. He spent quite a lot of his life in debtor's prison and in fact they think it was on the 24th of April whilst he was hiding from his creditors he had a stroke and passed away in London. He's buried here and this memorial was dedicated as it says here in September 1870 to a man who wrote one of the great literary works of his times. He's right next door however to this chap William Blake. Now William Blake is most famous for writing one piece of poetry and that was Jerusalem. So William Blake was born in Soho in 1757 as it says there and he died in Charing Cross just up the road from Soho in 1827. He was a writer, he was a poet, he was a painter, he also did etchings as well. He was an all-round good guy apparently and here he lies next to Daniel Defoe and just across from John Bunyan. Well thank you very much for watching today. We do hope you enjoy these videos and if you do please subscribe. If you want to know what we do outside of these videos then please go to historylaw.co.uk see about a walking tour of London or have a look in the description below and see about James's YouTube channel which is called Last Line Films. Before we go people still leave money for William Blake here and sometimes they need pens and paper as well just so he can carry on his writing in the other world. But there you go. It's a little bit peaceful usually without the building work behind but if you do want to come to Bunhill Fields it's here, it's lovely, it's just north of the city of London in the London borough of Islington. And why is it Bunhill Fields? Well, let me move that out of the way so you can see. It's called Bunhill Fields, it's a corruption of the words Bone Hill. It was a cemetery after all where the bones used to be. Thanks for watching, we'll see you very soon. Take care.